Hello and welcome to GP Notebook TV. My name is Anish Kotecha and I'm a GP in South Wales. Today, I thought I'd discuss with you the recent MHRA guidance that came out uh, looking at the use of um, pregabalin in pregnancy. And this uh, came out in April 2022. Um, and as usual, what I plan to do uh, in this video is give you some key take-home messages and some key bullet points that I feel are really important to us uh, in, in the primary care setting. So just to put a little context and a background into this, um, as we all know, pregabalin um, is, is a widely used medication um, and it can be used in things uh, like um, partial seizures, um, but we'll often use it for things like generalized anxiety disorder, uh, but, but much more commonly um, for central and peripheral neuropathic pain. Now, after looking at um, a European review and uh, an observational study, uh, the MHRA have concluded uh, that pregabalin can be um, can cause uh, and be associated with a a slight risk um, of major uh, congenital malformations in an unborn child. Um, now, they've therefore said that uh, women uh, should be using effective contraception whilst on this treatment, um, or of course, um, if pregnant, uh, it should be avoided unless um, it's really necessary. Um, now, although these studies had some limitations and the risk estimates were modest, uh, the MHRA suggested that actually women should be um, counseled about this uh, and they should have the opportunity to, to think about the benefits of, and the risks of the medication and make a, an informed decision for themselves. Now, the, um, the MHRA um, have basically um, also um, uh, updated the um, product characteristics um, and also the patient information leaflets have been um, adjusted to this effect as well. So just a couple of, uh, of points to, to note there um, that actually the MHRA have concluded and have advised healthcare uh, professionals that um, pregabalin is associated with uh, a, a risk of major congenital uh, malformations in the first trimester of pregnancy um, and therefore uh, effective uh, contraception should be used by women uh, whilst they're on the medication and if they are pregnant, um, they should not be using this medication unless it's really necessary. Women should also be counseled um, about the risks and the benefits of the medication and be able to make uh, an informed and a shared management decision um, with their healthcare professional. Now, of course, if the medication does need to be used, um, then we should be using the, the lowest effective dose and that should be under constant review uh, with a healthcare professional. Now also what we also need to be thinking of um, is if um, patients are pr planning to get pregnant or if you'd find out they are pregnant and they're on pregabalin, um, then we should be urgently referring them uh, to someone with specialist knowledge uh, on this subject um, for some advice um, on, on what to do with the, the pregabalin. And we should also be um, offering uh, the women uh, five milligrams of folic acid. Um, and, and this should ideally be done um, before they become pregnant, if at all possible. Now, the MHRA also um, suggests to us that we can refer to the UK Teratology um, Information Service uh, that will give us some further information on um, the risks, uh, uh, as well as the benefits of uh, medications uh, used in pregnancy. But also, if uh, we come across any adverse uh, drug reactions from pregabalin or any other anti-epileptics um, um, during pregnancy, then we should be reporting it via the, the yellow card scheme. Um, so, in summary, um, the, this MHRA guidance does suggest that pregabalin um, is associated with or does have a slight increased risk um, of major congenital um, um, malformations uh, to the unborn child if used during especially the first trimester of pregnancy uh, and therefore we should be advising women that are taking pregabalin to be on um, effective contraception or to avoid its use in pregnancy unless it's really necessary. 
So I hope you found this video useful and please do uh, continue to tune in to GP Notebook TV for further videos. Thank you. Thank <music> you.